This week, a different saga that stretches back to the 2020 election is at an end. At least it appears so for the two individuals who pleaded guilty Thursday to stealing and selling a personal journal and other items belonging to the president's daughter, Ashley Biden. That is the headline. But the backstory is detailed and dark. CNN's Athena Jones has the details. I um, grew up in Wilmington, Delaware, and had a fairly normal childhood. Ashley Biden's tax records, cell phone, and a handwritten journal containing highly personal entries. Among the items, two Florida residents admitted to stealing and selling to conservative activist group Project Veritas, pleading guilty in federal court in New York to conspiracy to commit interstate transportation of stolen property. Thank you, Pennsylvania, very much. I'm thrilled to be in. The latest revelation in a sordid tale that stretches back to the final weeks of the 2020 election. In June 2020, court documents say Amy Harris was a guest in the same room of a private residence in Delray Beach, Florida, where Biden's daughter had been staying with a friend. Ashley Biden had departed a few days earlier, but was temporarily storing her journal and other items, including a digital camera and a digital storage card containing private family photographs, at her friend's house, court documents say. Harris stole Biden's property and later enlisted Robert Curlander to help her sell it to the highest bidder. First, they targeted the Trump campaign, attending a September 6, 2020 fundraiser to try to drum up interest. According to the filing, the Trump campaign rebuffed the pair. Curlander texting Harris, campaign can't use it. They want it to go to the FBI. It has to be done in a different way. Curlander then reached out to Project Veritas, whose founder, James O'Keefe, said in a November 2021 video. Late last year, we were approached by tipsters claiming they had a copy of Ashley Biden's diary. We had never met or heard of the tipsters. The tipsters indicated the diary had been abandoned in a room in which Ms. Biden stayed at the time. After the pair used an encrypted messaging app at Project Veritas's request to share photos of Biden's stolen property, the organization paid them to bring the property to New York City in September 2020. In New York, a Project Veritas executive agreed to pay Harris $10,000 for the material and asked for more of Biden's personal items to help authenticate the journal promising to pay the pair for the additional material, the filing alleges. The pair returned to Florida. Curlander texting Harris, I'm expecting that they're going to pay up to $100,000 each, maybe more. Harris soon retrieved the additional Biden material and a Project Veritas employee flew to Florida to pick it up. The organization paid Harris and Curlander $20,000 each. O'Keefe saying the FBI had searched his employees' residences. I woke to the news that apartments and homes of Project Veritas journalists, or former journalists, had been raided by FBI agents. Neither the organization nor any of its employees have been charged in the case. And in a statement, Project Veritas insisted they did nothing wrong. Athena Jones, CNN, New York.